welcome back to the channel guys hope you're doing extremely well and in this video we're going to discuss the question check if two line segments are intersecting right two line segments intersecting so the problem provides you with two inputs one of the first is starting point of first row which is represented by p1 which is equals to x1 y1 and q1 which is the ending point which is x2 y2 right and similarly p2 which is the uh, starting point of row of the second row that is a1 b1 let us say and P q2 which is equals to a, uh, a2 b2 right okay so this is the starting point of line 1 ending point of line 1 starting point of line 2 ending point of line 2 you have to return true if the two line segments intersect otherwise return false this is the input output scheme of your problem today so how will you solve the problem so for this you will have to actually draw and visualize right the problem is all about visual visualization today's problem is all about visualization there is no other way to get rid of it right what will you do suppose like when will my line intersect intersecting line will look something like this suppose this is my line one this is my line one right suppose this is my p1 this is my q1 now how can i draw line two such that it is intersecting right what is what are the possible ways of line two line two can be something like this line two can be something like this line two can be lying on the p1 like p1 intersecting right it can intersect on q1 it cannot intersect it cannot intersect or it can lie something like here right so what are the possible ways amongst them so it is one of the ways this right that is p2 q2 right or interchangeable it is q2 it is p2 etc etc second way is this third way is this etc etc up till it's this right p2 q2 right okay so we generally take a case p1 here q1 here and let us take in middle let us take in middle if you know that this is the way that the line will intersect how can you determine if this p1 q1 p2 q2 will uh, represent the pair of intersecting lines or not like how can you do that how can you do that so i applied my mind again and again and again and again all the things were failing all the things were failing first of all i tried to make out the equation of this first of all my first approach was to take out this approach that this equation should be correct right i took out the equation of this line suppose this is representing y equals to mx plus c now at the time of je i studied that if p2 and q2 in the equation y equals to mx plus c are of different sign than the line P2 and Q2 will lie on the opposite side. P2 and Q2 will lie on the opposite side. But the doubt was P2 and Q2 are still on the opposite side of the line segment, but they are not intersecting, right? But the lines are not segment intersecting because it is about line segments. If it, it would have been about line, the problem would have been much simpler, but it, it, is, it is about line segments right now. So what should I do? So at last, after many attempts, that is why the video is coming late today. After many attempts, I saw that if I say P1 and Q1, I attach them I attach them now if I want to go to p2 then you can see from p1 I am going towards q1 and from q1 I am going towards p2 that is I'm moving in this direction and from p1 q1 I have for q2 I have to move in this direction that is you can see that this direction is this direction is anti-clockwise and this direction is clockwise right and it is actually implementing on the p2 q2 as well for p2 to q2 if I want to go to Q1, I have to move in this direction. Otherwise, I have to move in this direction. Directions are opposite. So my first observation is directions are opposite, are opposite. So I tried out this approach and this was not working fine for some cases, right? I write down the code for this approach. What did I do? I just took out the directions for P1, Q1, QP2. Uh, like first direction was this one. Second direction was this one. Third direction was this one. Fourth direction was this one, right? Suppose this is my one, this is my two, this is my three, this is my four. So I took out uh, direction one, direction two, direction three, direction four. And I said, when can the lines be intersecting? You can see if P1 here, Q1 here, and P2, Q2 here, right? You can see that P1, Q1 is still anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise, but in the case of P2, Q2, P1 is also on the uh, one side and Q1 is also on the one side. Q1 is also on the one side. So that gave me an approach. What is that approach? That if this uh, O1 is not equals to O2, that is P1, Q1, P1, P2 and P1, Q1, Q2. These two are should, these two should be different. With an and, I am using an and here that 
O3 is not equals to O4. That is from P2Q2, P1 and P2Q2, Q1 should be on different directions, should be in different directions. That is O1 is not equals to O2 and O3 is not equals to O4. That is my first case. That is my first case. It is correct. It is correct. But it is missing a special case. It is missing a special case. What is that? What is that? Suppose my P1Q1 is something like this. My P1Q1 is something like this. Right? And my P2 is something like this. P2 is lying here. And Q2 is lying here. Oh, sorry. And Q2 is lying here. Right? Now you can see the two lines are collinear. The two lines are collinear. Right? First case is this one. Second case is P1, Q1 and P2 is here. Q2 can be anywhere. Q2 can be here. Q2 can be here. You can see that P1, Q1, P2. P1, Q1, P2 are still collinear. So I was confused that what should I take my direction now? What should I take my direction now? Because, because the problem is that if P1, Q1, P2 is here, P1, Q1, P2 are still collinear, but P1, Q, P2, Q2 and P1, Q1 are not intersecting, right? So my approach here was that this P2, this P2, which is collinear with P1, Q1 should lie on the segment P1, Q1. How would I do that? For that, what did I do? I did something like this. Suppose P1 is here, Q1 is here, right? Q1 is here. Suppose I name this portion X, I name this portion Y and if P1, Q1, P2 are collinear, right, are collinear and P2 should lie on P1, Q1, that means P2's X, P2, X should be, le should be lying in, in this range, that is P1, X to Q1, X should be lying in this range and P2, Y should be lying in P1, Y to Q1, Y, that is why it will lie in this range it will lie in this range and if it is lying in this range and it is collinear that means it will lie on p1 q1 what i am saying is if p2 lines lies in this range if p2 lies in this range which is shaded area and p1 q, q p1 q1 p2 are collinear that means p2 doesn't have any option rather to stay at p1 q1 p1 q1 is only the option of p2 p1 q1 is only the option of p2 so my first case is my pseudo code works something like this take out the directions directions we will be discussing how to take out the directions as well. First, take out all the directions. Let us name it D1, D2, D3, D4. D1 is for P1, Q1, P2. P1, Q1, Q2. Right? And then D3 is for P2, Q2, P1. And P2, Q2, uh, Q, Q, Q1. These are the three directions. Four directions, sorry. First case is, if D1 is not equals to D2. And, this is an and, remember. D3 is not equal to D4. Simply return true. Simply return true. Because that is obviously not the case when your answer is going to be for true. Right? Because this operation, right? This is this is the operation. Second case. Second case. If suppose D1 equals to equals to 0. D1 equals to 0. That means P1, Q1, P2 are collinear. And if P1, Q1, Q2 are P2, P2 are collinear. Then if P2 lies on P1, Q1. Then means my answer is true that means my answer is true so and let us say that func p1 q1 that is p1 q1 is a line segment and p2 should lie on lie on it if both of them are true return true and i will do that for everyone that is d2 equals to 0 that means d2 equal to 0 means p1 q1 is uh, these three points are collinear and q2 should lie on p1 q1 that is p1 q1 q q2 similarly d3 0 or D4 0 and 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 right in the third case P1 should lie on P2 Q2 so P2 Q2 this is Q1 and P1 and similarly P2 Q2 Q1 right only one of these cases this should be fine or this should be fine or this should be fine or this should be fine if any one of these or this one works return true otherwise if all of them fails return false if all of them return fails now we have to see the implementation of func and the like how to get the directions right the function directions and func let us speak about directions let us speak about direction right what is the main function of direction it is returning anti-clockwise clockwise or collinear so suppose i have three points suppose p1 is here q1 is here 
and p2 is here suppose i want to get out this direction i want to get this direction i have got the points for p1 i have got the points for q2 q1 sorry i have got the points for p2 can i say that i can calculate its slope let us say it is m1 let us say it is m1 let us say it is m1 if and let us say that p2 q1 is m2 now how can i can i say the direction how can i calculate the direction so i can easily say that if m2 is greater than m1 if m2 is greater than m1 that is m2 minus m1 is greater than 0 it means what does it mean it says that i am moving in the anti clockwise direction similarly if m2 is less than m1 that is if something like this would have happened in that case m2 minus m1 is less than 0 and i will return clockwise this is the second case and the third case m1 equals to m2 m1 equals to m2 means m1 minus m2 equals to equals to 0 in that case return collinear in that case return collinear that is my main function for direction and it is time for us to see the own segment function that is if p1 q1 and q2 are collinear then what is the guarantee that q2 lies on p1 q1 right so suppose p1 is here q1 is here right and these are the points if q2 has to lie on this segment if q2 lies to lie on this segment then the two conditions are that this should be collinear which is already checked by us second condition is that q2 should lie between this range that is its x q2 x should lie between this range and q2 y should lie in between this range that is the only thing you have to see that is the only thing you have to see and return true or false accordingly so i hope the algorithm is clear to you what did we do we first check the directions we first check the directions and for collinear for collinear we checked for what do we check for we checked for the what do we say on segment right func we checked func function right only this right only this the time complexity is o of 1 because it is like like their minimal operations and space complexity is also o of 1 right so let us move to the coding area i guess right here is the coding section but before moving on i would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel because it really motivates me and now let us just start writing the code right okay so firstly int d1 equals to direction of p1 q1 with reference to p2 with reference to p2 similarly int d2 equals to direction p1 q1 in reference to q2 similarly int d3 equals to direction direction is the name of function we will be defining in some moments p2 q2 with reference to p1 and int d4 equals to direction p2 q2 with reference to q1 right it is q q2 sorry now what do we have to do first case is if d1 is not equals to d3 and d2 is not equals to d4 in that case simply return true simply return true or oh, sorry we have to return the string so return true otherwise what is the second case if my d1 equals to equal to 0 that means p1 q1 and p2 are collinear so i have to check if p2 lies on p1 and q1 so and func of p1 q1 and p2 it is func yeah in that case return true in that case return true so let me copy return true right similarly else if d2 equals to equal to 0 and function of it is func again so it is p1 q1 now p1 q1 with q2 with q2 right else if i will write return 2 again and uh, after copy pasting after writing all the conditions return 0 and func of what is the function here so for d3 equal to 0 p2 q2 and p1 so p2 q2 and p1 else if d4 equals to equals to 0 and function of p2 q2 with q1 in that all the cases return true so control c control v control v and control v if all of the cases above cases where we are turning true is failing that means we have to return false in that case so return false right let us define the function for direction direction it will return int value it will return int value so int direction what does it take 
it takes first set of points P1, it takes second set of point Q1 and it takes third set of point let us say P2 only, right? Let us generalize it, it is PQR, okay, it is P, Q, R, okay, R. Now, how can I define the function of P1, Q1, and etc, etc, about the, about the direction? So, I will be using, what will I be using? I will be using the uh, calculation of slopes and the difference. So, let us say long, long value. Why long, long? Because I checked it, it was not working fine for the normal intent. So, long, long value equals to 1 long, long multiplied by now first slope that is q1 minus p1 you can you can know the slope is equals to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 do into r0 minus r1 r0 minus q0 sorry r0 minus q0 so i just cross multiplied and minus right minus one long long multiplied by p0 minus q0 multiplied by r1 minus q1 right okay so this is just the cross multiplication and then subtraction to check the values now if my value is equal to equal to 0 in that case return 0 that is the points are collinear otherwise if my value is greater than 0 return 1 that is the uh, operations are anti clock uh, sorry if the value is greater than uh, i guess it is anti clockwise else it is minus 1 right for clockwise okay this is for the direction let us calculate for the int func also so int func what is it taking func is also taking points so int p int q int r int p int q int r now how will i check how will i check so the q the r function should lie in between the r function should lie in between so if r0 is less than equals to maximum of p0 it is p sorry it is p0 and q0 and r0 is greater than equal to minimum of both these so p0 comma q0 similarly r1 is greater than equal to minimum of p1 q1 it is p1 q1 and similarly and r1 is less than equal to maximum of these two p1 and q1 in that case return what do we return we return true we return one right otherwise return zero for false right let us try to compile and run it hope it will work fine should not give any error oh it is giving an error okay it is funk let us try to compile and run it again should give fine results there is an error again 53 line what is the 53rd line Oh, the semicolon was put inside the string by mistake. Let us try it now. Please work fine. Should not give any error. Okay, so it is running fine. Let us try it for submit as well. Should run fine, I guess. And it is running. Okay. Okay. So all the test cases pass. 185 day streak. So thank you for watching. Hope you liked the video. Hope you were able to understand the concept. For any questions, I am free to answer in the comment section. So please feel free to... Uh, DM me or etc. Okay, my social media handles are in the description. So we'll meet tomorrow till then keep coding and stay tuned. Thank you. Have a nice day